Hi everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial. In this session, we will discuss about Flutter blocks. Just the same, it is a continuation of the part one video which we have posted a couple weeks before, which in which we were discussing about. If you remember, we made use of a simple counter app with the help of block pattern. And in this tutorial, we will be just dealing with the same, but here we have a simple age calculator app as an example. The same, the help of the block pattern, right? Uh, it is a very basic app that is it is the age is the input from the user you can give any age and if you press the calculate button it provides or it just displays the stage of your life like the senior adult or adult or a child this is a very basic and a simple example which we will be discussing in this video tutorial with the help of flutter block pattern and without wasting time let's just jump into the coding part right away and get this done The first thing which you need to do is to add this dependency which is the flutter block and always check for the latest version. As for the video recording date 8.0.1 is the latest version. And after doing so let's go to the main.dat file. Here in the main.dat file we have a navigation uh, initial route navigation to my home page. You can check it out right over here in the presentation folder and say the routes. We have this file written down and where the initial route points to my home page. My home page is where we have this collection of basic UI components including the text form field, the calculate button and the text widget. Right? We have a simple text editing controller, a basic UI with an app bar and everything is wrapped in a column wise manner. And collectively see we have a text widget, a kind of spacing and a text input field which is the text form field and the button. Right? This is the basic UI which where we haven't implemented the block pattern right now. Now let us just update this basic UI with the help of the block pattern and handle the states and the events. First let's start with the qubits. The qubits are written down separately in this business logic folder. And if you want to create a qubit, you can just right click on the lib folder and at the very bottom you get this feature to create qubits it will uh, create two dot files one for states and events right with by doing so you can create a new qubit for yourself but i have already created a qubit for this example and i have named them as the age calculator first let's start with the states in this example we are going to deal with only one state that is uh, the basic initial state but in upcoming tutorials which we are going to post later on will be dealing with multiple states so don't need to worry about that for now here we will be having only one state and which is the age calculator initial state and this state will be making use of the stage of life which is a string that is what you just saw just like the adult or the senior adult. that is one which we defined over here as the string and we have a constructor for the same this is our state this is a very basic state and let's go to the events just by creating a qubit folder this is the basic uh, setup which you get a uh, predefined and since we are having a constructor for the age calculator initial state you just need to provide some initial value for now i am just giving an initial value as a simple smiley one uh, for the stage of life variable now, but you can just update that whatever you need okay so this is our basic qubit structure with the basic state a simple state and a simple uh, initial state with an initial value right now let's move on to the routes folder and update the routes first this is our basic route we just need to wrap this my home page inside the block provider just like this you can wrap that my home page inside the block provider and mention the qubit which you are going to use for your app in our case it is age calculator qubit and just define the same for the create state with this we will be able to easily navigate to the home page with the help of the block provider now it's time to create some logic that is whenever this button is pressed we need to uh, display or we need to change that stage of life variable to the corresponding data Let us now create a separate function for handling that uh, on press event and let me name it as update age val and this age val uh, function is going to emit a state which is the 
age calculator initial state since this is the only state we are having we will be emitting this state on that button press event okay and as I discussed before this age calculator initial state will be having the stage of life variable inside the constructor so we need to pass some value to this since we are having this basic uh, smiley as the initial value here we need to provide the computed value based upon the value what we get from that text form field okay that value we can just pass in as the parameter to this function now let me define a function which computes the age this is a very basic function I just made use of the if else statement and you can just make use of this function you can call it right over here with that by passing the age val which we got as a parameter now by, with the help of the value what you have entered in the text form field will be computing the value for the stage of life and will be returning the string value which will be in turn emitted as the result of the state okay now we got this uh, qubits ready it's time to move on to the UI part this is our UI and the only data or the only widget which is going to change or update based upon that value is this simple text widget right this calculate button or this text form field is not going to change or going to undergo any updation upon any state change so we can just remove we can just leave this and let us grab that text data widget alone with the block builder just like this and in order to access that state variable you can make use of state dot age of life which actually holds that updated value now we, we, we are now ready to update the UI based upon the event but we haven't added the logic to trigger that event which is that is we haven't made a function call to that update age val function which is written down in the qubits which we need to write inside the on press event of this button and this button widget is right over here and here we have an empty on press event let me just define or we, let me just call that update age val function over here just by this we can make use of the update age val function call and pass in the parameter that is the text editing controller value as the parameter to this update age val function now i guess it should work fine let me hard restart let me enter a value enter something yeah i guess it is working fine yeah everything is working fine well that's it guys this is how you can manage the event and state in flutter block and in this tutorial we were just discussing about simple qubits with only one state right that is an initial state in the later video which we will be posting later on we will be discussing about multiple states we will be showing you how to handle multiple states like loading state or the error state in flutter block so don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye